Welcome everybody here to a very special video. This is the start of us creating our WWE 2K22 custom universe mode. Oh my goodness, it's so exciting. The con man universe is here and it's back for 2K22, but it's on a brand new channel. Can you believe that everybody? So for those of you who do not know, I had produced this series over on the main channel, Conman167, for about three and a half years. It was called the Conman Universe, the CMU. This thing was a lot of fun. We created a show basically once every week. Sometimes it was twice a week, then it turned into once every two weeks, but we created a show every single week for a long, long, long time. And it was one of the more interesting things I produced on the channel. Well, here's what we got to do tonight. We got to bring it on over to WWE 2K22, and it's not a small process. We've got how many people to make. We've got a total of 93 wrestlers, custom wrestlers to make from scratch. We also have championships we need to make. We need to make the move sets, the entrances, the wrestlers, and the victory settings, plus the tag teams as well. So there is a lot that we have to do here tonight. Uh, and it's not all going to get done here tonight either. I should really add that. It's, it is not going to all get done here tonight, but it will be fun watching us create the stars. Um, so please be patient with me as I have to flip back and forth from the old game mode that we had. Uh, so I've got WWE 2K19 pulled up on my left screen here. It's from my PlayStation 4. And then we've got WWE 2K22 sitting right here, right in front of me here today, controlling it with a nice camo controller. You guys can't see it, though. Um, so that's that. There we go, everybody. So we are going to get right into this thing. We're not going to waste any time. It's going to take a while, all right? It's going to take a long, long while. So I hope you guys are excited for the stream. Let's just get right into it. And if I happen not to pay attention to the chat as much um it's because i've got a lot kind of going on so let's start it off uh the first thing that i want to show you though is we do have one superstar already made and his name is ahmed so let me get rid of my camera there and you guys can see this man so ahmed has been created uh, i just wanted to try the first superstar and we were able to get that done so ahmed is in the series now we need to get a new Superstar being made. So new custom star. All right. Let's go with the mail. So, <coughs> excuse me. Next up that we have is a lead Thomas. All right. We'll see how a lead is interesting. So, and if you guys want me to, I can move my camera angle as well. All right. We can eventually, but I believe Ahmed can be considered a cruiserweight. He needs to be a, um, I'd say he's a striker. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody. Oh, my goodness. Coughing already. That's not good. So we'll just go with current persona. Uh, let's do that. Boom. Let's click accept. Okay. So let Thomas. And yeah, again, guys, if uh, if I'm not interacting with you as much, it is because there's a lot that I got to uh, got to go through here in my head. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy watching the behind the scenes stuff here of the Con Man universe. Is there a named a lead? There's an Alex, Alan, no a lead though. All right. So can I just go back? The current settings won't be saved. Uh, Boom, there we go, presentation name, nothing. All right, do I have other superstars music or no music? We will have music, we will have music. See you later, Noah Saltzman. Thank you so much for being here with us for the little tiny bit. I hope you guys do enjoy it though. Make sure you drop the like on the video. All right, that'll help me out a ton. Uh, so let's start with the face. I guess I got to pull up him over here as well. 
let all the custom superstars load in. So it's definitely not a fast process, right, guys? It's a very slow process, but it's one that I am going to enjoy making, and I'm not going to be making every single character with you guys on stream. That would be crazy. I don't know how many hours it's going to take to put in to this. It's probably going to take something like 50, 50 hours at least, I think. Uh, to be able to get this all created. And it might be wrong. It might be a little bit less. might be like 40 hours. But we'll see. If I stream it, though, it will definitely take me longer. So appearance. Let's go with uh, hair and facial parts. I guess I should have went with his body first. Hang on. Face. Face customization. All right. So he is... Which face? He's the first face. All right, the first face. Nice and easy. Nice and easy for a lead Thomas. All right. Then after that, he is 5'11", 201 pounds is a lead Thomas. So let's try to get that. So at the current moment, he is at 5'8", 163 pounds. Okay. All right. Because you got to make the titles as well. Exactly. Yep. It's going to take a long time. But that's okay. Uh, what type of body does he have? That's the question here. He's got type 2, type 6. So he would be considered a maybe medium. Oh, he's kind of ripped right there. Kind of ripped. That's more like a lead's body. That's more like a lead's. Yep. There we go. Skin color. He is a white boy. You're not tired, Con. <laughs> what do you mean I'm not tired? What do you mean I'm not tired? I'm always tired. It's like Zack Ryder. He's always ready. I'm always tired. So there we go. That's a lead except that. Boom. No veins. All right. Skin color is good. We got to get that height in there. I figured you would be making the big stars first. I'm just going in alphabetical order. That's literally all I'm doing. Alphabetical order. I didn't get the right height there. Got to go to square. Uh, body type. Height. So that's where the height is now. So he's got to be at 5'11". Oh, that's not a cruiserweight anymore. Oh, shoot. Okay. Well, that's not good. I guess his body is a cruiserweight body. Thin. All right. Let's give him a thicker, thin body then. The setup looks fire. Thank you, Peyton Cash. Yeah, sure. That could be his body. Okay, that works then. Go back in here. Get that proper height. 5'11". 201 pounds. That's six one. That's a little too tall. Okay, interesting. So you can't really give them the weight. They do a uh, relative weight. Okay, all right. I see. I see. There we go. Accept that. Boom. So there's the start of a lead, Thomas. How's everybody doing, though? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. As you can see, this is the first stream back on Con Games. First one back in a while. And it's great to have all of you here with me tonight as we create this. Let's get the attire going. So we got to do this. Boom. Edit attire. Go over to the attire over here. Appearance is first up. Hair and facial parts. Definitely not the long hair. So he's short with a little bit of spikes in the front. So that means we are looking at this hair, I believe. Uh, yep, that's the hair. Let's get that colored right. So he's a beach blonde buddy. Let's get that. Um, it's pretty close. Pretty close. That's pretty good. 
Maybe a little lighter. Yep, that's a lead. There we go. And then I think I need... Don't want to do the eye stuff that he had before. The eyebrows, okay. So eyes, let's make sure there is no weird stuff over his eyes. He doesn't have any facial hair. Just his eyebrows are a little wonky. They're a little funky. It's time to get funky, 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 funky. Everybody clap your hands. There you go. All right. There's the lead, Thomas. We're starting to get somewhere. Now, upper body we go. All right. And he's got nothing there. Cool. Lower body, nothing there as well. All right, sweet. So there's the start of a lead, Thomas. Whoa, look at that gear. <laughs> That's a different look for a lead. <laughs> it's a big time different look. Uh, so then I guess we need clothing next, don't we? So we don't need the head. We need the upper body. Clothing, upper body. Jackets. It's jacket time. So we had a generic one next to the flowers. Okay. So that was this jacket. Did they remove it? Nope, that might be it. That's the one. That's the one. There he goes. Cool. Were those actually his eyebrows in 2K19? They were. They were, my dude. Um, I guess we'll go like this, but then we'll just bring it up a little bit. There we go. Good stuff. That's his jacket. Then we need the long elbow pads. So long elbow pads now. Mm, that's not them. I need something else that's long. I think they're in the generics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, that's not it. As you guys can see, this is the part that takes the longest, trying to find the proper gear that he had in the last game and moving it over here to uh, the next. Oh my goodness, Jonathan Farthing just dropped a $50 donation. Holy hell, dude. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Oh my God, man. Thank you, John. John. Oh yeah, baby. Jonathan Farthing. Thank you, bro. You got yourself another two entries into the draw for the CMU. I wish you the best of luck. Um, so is it this one? Oh, it's got to be this one, right? I think it's this one. Let's see. Yes, it was this one. All right. So then we change the color to black, boom, and gray. Heck yeah, man. A lead Thomas. Joe, so it's good to see you, bud. Good to have you here in the chat, my man. All right. That looks good. So then we just remove that and copy this one over. When is the draw? The draw will be this Friday. That's right. This Friday is the 15th, I believe. So we'll be doing the draw this Friday on the main channel. Uh, copy. There we go. Con, just for the fun of it, press randomize when you create the next one to see what it suggests. <laughs> it's always certainly interesting, isn't it? Certainly interesting. I don't think we need the gloves for a lead, right? 
He should be good. Yeah, so that's a lead Thomas right there. We just need the wrist guards. But honestly, I think I'm okay without the wrist guards for a lead Thomas. I think that's fine. That's fine and dandy. So let's get out of that one. Then we go to the lower body. And time to grab the bottoms. Right there. So which ones are they? They are generic. Uh, short legs. Okay. Short legs. That's them. Believe, right? No, that is definitely not them. They weren't jeans. They were this. Oh, is that there? There they are, I believe. No, that's not them. These ones? Oh, yeah. Those are the ones. There we go. It's all black for Mr. Aled. Second color was black as well. Third color can be the gray. Beautiful. Except, except that. All right. Then we need the boots and shoes. Boots and shoes. Which ones were they? Some more generic ones. These ones? Ye no. Yes. 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 Ooh, those boots look sick. Yes. That's a lead Thomas there, guys. I didn't know you were live right now, says Steve Taylor. Well, I am, my friend. It's good to see you. But folks, there's a lead Thomas. You recognize this man? You recognize him from WWE 2K19? Well, a lead is in. He is in the CMU, my friends. Woo! All right, so now we copy this, copy attire, place that there. Beautiful. A lead looks the same. Honestly, though, guys, we're going to have most of the characters uh, be the same. Jamie Todd says, have you thought of letting people create their own if they have the game for you to download them? I have, but that's not what I want to do. I've thought about it, and I know how it's going to go. Everybody's going to be like, you're not using the character the way I want them to be used, or this character's not what I said it was going to be, or I'll make some changes, and people will be like, how dare you change my character? So I just take it into my own creation process, and then that way people get what they get. <laughs> Steve Taylor says, am I doing move sets too? I will eventually. I have a little spreadsheet that I have... Uh, I have all the people's names on with the created wrestler entrance move set and victory along with all the championships that I have. Ludog says, how many more am I doing tonight? I don't know, dude. Don't think I can provide you an actual number right now, but I, I will be doing a decent amount. Decent amount. Uh, probably live for about an hour or two. Somewhere like that. So let's get him posing. Go to the mail. I need... That's pretty much a lead. There we go. Uh, he is a baby face right now. The personality trait. So I'd say a lead Thomas is definitely proud. He's a little disrespectful. Perseverant as heck. Loyal. Uh, he's cowardly at times. And he's definitely on the aggressive side of things. There we go. That's a lead. He is going to be from... Where is he from again in the game? I mean, it really truly doesn't matter. <laughs> I know people like to uh, say, Oh, you gave me the wrong birthplace. Yeah, he's from New York. All right. Let's go New York, New York. For a lead Thomas. CMU Draw will be this Friday on the main channel, my friends. And I guess we don't need that. Now we need his statistics. 
attributes. Let's try to get these roughly the same as well. Uh, attributes, boom. Uh, 75, running 77. Aerial offense, 77. Aerial range, 81. Make sure you guys drop that like for me, though, if you can do me that big old favor. That would be greatly appreciated. Strike reversal. I need to go down a little bit more. Strike reversal, 78. Grapple reversal, 76. Uh, aerial reversal, 76. Head is an 80. Arm is an 80. Body is an 80. All those are 80. Okay. Boom. Pin escape now, 83. Strength is an 80. Stamina, 83. Momentum is at an 80. Cool. Recovery, that's something new, I think. We'll put it there. Agility, he's got to be at least a 79. Special and finisher. I'm going to leave special and finisher at 70s for every single person. That way, nobody gets their finishers any quicker than other people in the CMU. So it's as fair as possible. So overall, 88 for a lead Thomas. That's what he came out to be. And he's a striker. Okay. So there you have it. The striker. A lead Thomas. All right, a lead is created. That's right, my friends. A lead Thomas has been created. A midi is up next. A midi, a midi, a midi. <laughs> you were playing competitively in leagues there, Steve Taylor? That's cool, bro. That's pretty cool. Share your creation with the WWE community. Not right now. We will do that once all the move sets are created, once all the entrances are created, uh, once all that stuff is good to go. Welcome to the stream, though, my friends. If you're just tuning in, we are going to be live for about, about an hour to two hours. Brian Schaefer says, you weren't kidding on it taking a long time. 20 minutes for just one and not even counting moves. Told you. I told you, it's not a quick process. This is a long, long, tedious process to uh, get all this created. But it's so worth it in the end, my friends. Like, legit. So, so worth it. We'll find out, Jamie Todd. There's going to be changes, though, my friend. There will be changes. So, a midi is up next. So, a midi be a cruiserweight. Con, am I excited to use the new backstage area? Oh, hell yeah. And I'm going to list a midi as, I believe, a technician. He is high flyer at times, but I do think he's got more of a technician role inside of the CMU. So we're going to do that right there. This is a midi. Ross Block says, I assume you'll also work on this off stream. Hell yeah. Yeah, there's no way I'm able to stream all of it. Not a chance. The Anomaly. Animal the Anomaly. There he is. A midi. That's a cool looking superstar, not gonna lie. Jamie says you might want to move your camera in case the videos get you copyrighted. What? How does moving my camera change things? I don't know. I'm so confused. So, let's get to the face right here. Face template. A MIDI is just the first one. All right. Nice and simple. And then his body, 
we need to do that after. So there's that. Body time. Body type. Um, so a midi would be considered, if he's 196, he's thin. He's thin. He's going to have this body type right up in here. Yeah, that's a midi. That's totally a midi. Okay, I like that. Cool. J Jordan Williams, buddy. Good to see you. He says he's looking forward to what's to come. Me too, my man. Me too. So we got that right there. Skin color time. Let's give him the skin color that he has here. Ashton wondering, am I still in the game? You are, my dude. You are. You are. All right. So that's that. I need to go back to body again. Brian O'Dell says the CMU premiere is going to be awesome. Yeah, man. I'm really looking forward to it. I cannot wait for you guys to see the final product. I, I mean, I can't wait for myself to see the final product as well. You know, I, I truly can't. Matthew Grantland dropping a dollar. Thank you, my friend. Very, very kind of you. So let's get him up to 511. See if we can reach that 196. No, he's at six feet right there. So 190 for a midi. The anomaly. A midi. Cool. That might be the wrong skin color. Let's try this again. And you can see it's quite the slow creation process. Oh, is it ever. It is a very, very slow creation process. That's uh, still not the right color, man. That's a little more like it. There we go. That's a little bit more like what a midi was looking like before. Hey, man, we got over 100 viewers in here. Holy hell, good to see everybody. Welcome to the late night live stream here. Abel Alicia says, I'm looking forward to this series. Me too, my friend. It's going to be really good once it's all done. It's going to be so much fun. And then we can do it again next year for 2K23. <laughs> the one thing with 2K19 uh, was that it stuck around a long time. I didn't have to make new characters or transfer all the characters over for a while i still remember when i did this for 2k22 and then it crashed and i lost all my work that sucked uh okay so after attire we got personal information this is a midi he's cheered right now um he can be from i think he's from new york rochester he can be from rochester sure what the heck Eventually, guys, if you are really wanting me to change from or change the location, you can let me know uh, in the chat. But I think we're good there. Personality traits. We've got. He's definitely proud. A little more on the respectful side of things. He is desperate at times. He is loyal. I think kind of a little bit. Definitely a little cowardly and more so on the discipline side of things. So there we go. There is a midi. Did I say 2K22? I meant 2K20. Sorry, guys. Sorry. <laughs> Big Tiger telling me I don't have the attire. Oh, I know. I know. I know. Performance. Uh, we don't need that. Statistics. Okay, attire. Edit attire. Right. Edit this attire over here. Edit attire. Appearance. Hair and facial parts. So his hair is just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. What's it next to? 
What's next to the slick cuts? All right. Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> um, where is it? Where is it? All right, I don't see the haircut. Let me take a look again over here. So it's below one with the, okay. Uh, where the heck? Is it? Oh, is this it? I think this is it. There it is. All right, there's a midi's hair. Beautiful. Uh, Bell asking, can we get a custom superstar made by us included in the series? This is all made by me, my friend. So, unfortunately, no. I cannot offer that to you. Ooh, I don't like this hair color. That's not right. We got to adjust that hue. So this is like a orangey. Okay. I want Lux 7 in a storyline. Ooh, Casey Wood. All right. Well, we will see if we can make that happen for you, my friend. Uh, so this needs to be dirtier. lighter but still like that let's go change the hue again oh we're getting close we're getting really close. Mmm, that's pretty damn close, guys. Pretty damn close to a midi's hair like it was before. Pretty damn close. So do you think it's harder in 2K22 to make the CAWs or in 2K19? Good question. Um... I don't know. This is just off a little bit. Oh, hang on. Got it. It's right there. No. Still off just a little bit. The color just is not right. Um. Well, there we go. That's the color we're going to work with. All right. Good enough. Good enough. So beautiful there. Go back to the mustache. All right. So we get rid of the eye stuff. Facial hair mustache. I mustache you a question, but I'll shave it for later. I think this is the mustache. Mitty's been rocking. Um... You know what? It might be this one. <laughs> Ron Swanson over here. It's definitely not that one. 
It might be this one. Yes, Joe, so I am, my friend. I am. Let's get the color on this thing. There's a midi. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's a midi or not. Um, he's got some sideburns. So let's get some sideburns on him. You don't think a midi had a mustache. You're wrong. <laughs> You're wrong. I'm sorry to tell you, but you are wrong. Um, there we go. All right. That's something. It's not terrible. It's not terrible. Eyebrows need to change. They need to be a solid black one. Or not black, but it's that one. That looks like a stay-at-home dad. <laughs> there you go, my friends. That's a midi, a midi, a midi. That looks a little bit more like him. That looks a little bit more like him from the last game. It's not exact. But it will do. It will do. You guys will still get used to them. All right. So upper body. We're good that way. We just need to get to the clothing now. So upper body jackets. Looks more like me. <laughs> so jacket time. Let's actually get rid of the outfit here. Looks like me and Dexter Loomis had a baby. <laughs> oh, man. Holy hell, it's been 38 minutes. <laughs> this thing is going to take forever. Oh, I'm not even, not even close to being done. Holy hell. All right. Well, wish me luck, guys. Wish me absolute luck here. As we get through the creation process. Oh my. Gonna take a hot moment. Where's the jacket that he rocked before? We need some sleeves. That's not it. Although that looks sick. Looks like a uh, revival jacket. FTR jacket. Um, cuffed at the wrist. Oh, that's it. That's it. There it is. Actually, that's different. But I ain't gonna lie, I like it. Yo, let's go. Let's go with that one. So there's blue. We need to go a little darker. Yo, a midi's gonna get a new jacket. A midi's getting a spanking brand new jacket. <laughs> Big Tiger says, I really hope we get to me tonight. We'll see, dude. I don't know for sure if we're gonna be able to get that far tonight. Um, That jacket's different. I like it, though. Third color. Let's get a little bit of white in there. Yep. And the fourth color can be white as well. Beautiful. All right, Amity. You got a new jacket. I, I don't like the material, though. It's a little too shiny. Let's see if we can find... Oh, it's cloth. Oh, hell yeah. We just made this look the same. Let's go. Let's go. Look at that, man. That's a midi's jacket. <laughs> There's no question about it. Just got to switch it over to cloth. Uh, 
a midi right there. Okay, cool. And now we go to no elbow pads needed, I don't believe. Um, hang on, did a midi wrestle differently? Did he take his jacket off? No, he never did. He kept the jacket on. Okay, so clothing. Lower body, then. Lower body. So we got the bottoms, which are the ones with the thing on the side. The star on the side. Okay, so we need to go to long pants. They're underneath the shorts, so it's not far. Um, oh, damn. Do they not have it? Uh-oh. Is a midi going to need some new pants? It looks like a midi needs a new pair of pants. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Didn't want to have to replace them. I like the pants that he had. Are these custom? Oh, it's right there. I totally scrolled right past it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. But yes, these are all custom characters. We had a series called the Con Man Universe, the CMU over on my main channel, Conman167. It was lots of fun. We did it for about three and a half years, and now here we are, ready to go. Ooh, I like those. I like that. All right. And let's just make sure that that's the brightest white that we got. Cool. We need now... Knee pads, we need socks, okay. So socks are required. We need some socks with stripes. Socks with stripes! Socks with stripes! Socks with stripes! Those might do. Wait, what the heck? Why... Why is nothing changing? Hold up. There's something going on here. It was knee pads. Okay. Cyrink says this looks awesome. Man, it's going to be so good once we get it done. It's going to take a long time. But we're going to get it done. Con, when I get in the CMU, I want to wrestle in jeans. Okay, well, we can we can talk about that when the time comes, all right, my friend? Because I guarantee you, I will not remember right now. Guarantee to you. <laughs> okay, there's that. And then we need the boots, which were the plain white ones, all right? They are, they've got the single stripe down them. And they are shorter, so they'll be up here. Not those ones. Totally missed them again. Have, oh, they're right there. There we go. Beautiful. Have I made myself yet? No. <laughs> I'm, I've am i got 90 some odd characters to make, Mr. Jamie Dodd. I'll make myself when I get around to it. Probably once we get to the seas. Although Conman the Canadian is no longer in the series. So yeah, that's something. There we go. There's a midi. 
A midi, man? Yo! Welcome to the big leagues, kid. There's a midi. Damn. Damn. All right, let's go. So a midi is pretty much created here. We copy this attire over here. Place that down. Personal information is good. Performance, we don't need. Statistics is the next one. All right. So. Statistics. Statistically speaking, this is going to take a long time. Let's go here. Attributes. All right. Let's see how this goes. 73. Uh, 77. Running offense is 85. Aerial offense is 89. Damn, I gave this guy a lot. 90. <laughs> Rip off version of Tyler Bate. <laughs> uh, power submission offense. What's that? That was 70. Damn, he's maxed out right there. Cool. Technical submission is a 79. Strike reversal, 83. Grapple reversal, 79. Hee hee, 79, not 69. We're way more mature than that. Aerial reversal, 84. Body durability is an 80. Arm durability, 74. Leg durability, 74. Power submission is a 74 as well. We can't go that high, so he gets the full 70. Submission defense, he can take that right there. Pin escape is 82. Strength is 75 for the technician. A midi. And then what else do we got? We got stamina at 89. Stamina recovery, that's not a thing anymore. Momentum, movement speed, okay. Movement speed, 86. Agility, 88. Recovery. Special and finisher, there we go, my friends. See you later, TCS Gaming. Thank you for being in the stream, buddy. A midi is a 92 overall. There you have it. Mr. A midi has been created. It's a midi, a midi, a midi. The former cruiserweight champion, actually. That's right. Former cruiserweight champion. And we can now X that saying a MIDI has been created. Up next is Anthony Daniel. Boom, 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 dun, 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 dun. Anthony Daniel is up next. Alright, let's leave that. New custom superstar, Anthony Daniel. All right. He b b b b ballin'. So Anthony Daniel. This one will be interesting to see how he looks. Be really interesting to see. We've been live for 50 minutes so far. Can you believe it? 50 freaking minutes. <laughs> 50, 50 minutes. So, Anthony Daniel, I would say he is more on the striker side of things than anything. But at 207 pounds, that makes him a light heavyweight. All right, 5'10". Anthony 
Anthony Daniel. Anthony Danny. Anthony Danny. Let's see, do they have the name Anthony? I imagine they do. Anthony, there it is. Anthony, and I bet you have the, they have the name Daniel, I bet you. Anthony Daniel, there it is, beautiful. Honestly, Casey Wood, I don't remember what your rating was in WWE 2K19. Couldn't tell you until we open up your character. <laughs> Tyrese Johnson says, Adrenaline in my soul. Cody Rhodes wants more pyro. <laughs> Okay, so if we go to the face, face template, which one was he? He was face template. Looks like this one. Yes. All right, no facial deformation. Cool. Body is up next. You know, one of these days I'm going to have my sister in the game for Conman 167 Universe Mode in 2K22. All right, Brian O'Dell, we'll see if that ends up happening in the future, my friend. So we want to do body, body type. Oh my goodness, this is slow. <laughs> Anthony Daniel is more of one of these bodies. Mm, we're going to give him some muscles, though, just so that he can be taken. Whoa, that's a lot of muscles. Let's maybe give him this one. That's better. That's better. Skin color, this dude. <laughs> Yo, the blue man group. Let's go. Sahil says, you make subscriber custom superstars. Kind of. We've been doing this series for about three and a half years over on the other channel, the Conman167 channel. And um, it's being transferred over to this one. So we've got like a lot of members, moderators, things like that, that have been entered into the series over the last three and a half years. We always add in one new person every single month. You have to be a member or you have to be entered into the CMU draw. That's how we do it. Uh, so let's go back to the body here. Get our proper height. So he stands at 5'10", about 207 pounds. So we'll make him 216 just to... Uh... Oh, wait. What the heck? I don't try that again. There we go. Tyrese Johnson, the best way to look at the CMU is it's our wrestling league for our community. So we make a show once every two weeks. And we put that show on. It's lots of fun. People fight against each other. People develop storylines, all that great stuff. It's really, truly entertaining. If you have not checked it out, you should definitely check it out once this series comes to this channel. All right, so we need to get Anthony Daniels' entrance attire. I honestly think I'm going to keep Anthony Daniels' entrance attire as his regular attire. So he's going to be rocking a hat. He's going to be rocking his... Uh, flamboyant shirt, all that stuff. That's what I think is going to end up happening here. So let's go to appearance. And let's see what this appearance looks like. So he needs to get rid of that hair. And this hair is in the longer section. I think it's this hair right here. 
Yep, there's Anthony Daniel. Beautiful. I actually like the color that they gave. That's pretty damn accurate to the color he was before. All right, let's go with it. Anthony Daniel is the least intimidating looking cult leader ever. Who said he's a cult leader? He's just a guy with a, a, a flower shirt. <laughs> beard full. I imagine that's what's next. Yep, full beard. All the way down here. Boom. Oh, beautiful Anthony Daniel. Welcome to the CMU. Welcome to the CMU. And then the eyebrows are these ones, the ones that go straight across. No, it's these ones. Will he be doing this tomorrow as well? No idea. No idea. We'll see what the day brings. All right, my friends. There we go. There's that. Don't think he has anything else. Nope. Upper body appearance is fine. Lower body appearance is fine. Let's get to the clothing. So head. He's rocking a cap. All right. Rocking a cap. Boom. It's the one that has this on it, I believe. Not that one. <laughs> uh, yes, it's totally this one. Cool. So then we go color. We do first color, which is going to be all white. Second one is going to be a shade of purple. That's pink. So let's get this more so to the purple section. That's pretty damn accurate. Yo, that's pretty accurate. I'm going to make it just a little deeper of a purple. Yeah, like that. There we go. Woo -hoo Let's go. No, Mr. Tornicane, he did not get released. Um, I forgot to include him in the screenshot earlier. No, Antonio Coleman is still a part of the show. He did not get released. Glasses now. <laughs> there we go. There we go, Anthony Daniel. <laughs> Let's just have that be Anthony Daniels' new look. Call him Zion Quinn. All right. <laughs> cool. Uh, so clothing again. Let's get the upper body now. If we're talking body. So it's in jackets. All right. It's this one. So, first color, all white. Second color, purple. No, the flowers were purple. I think these are the blues that we need. Oops, shoot. Didn't mean to click accept. Something along those lines there. The third color is the leaves. Oh, shoot. I had that backwards. This is supposed to be yellow. But, like, a definitely much lighter yellow. Almost, uh, almost green. Almost green. Not quite green, though. Something like that. All right, there we go. Then these ones are the purples. Nope, these ones are the blues. 
been over that. And then these are the purple. There we go. Yeah, man. Hey, Ghostface, how you doing, bro? I'm doing pretty good. Thanks for asking. You having yourself a wonderful night so far? I hope so. We're just here creating the CMU characters. And I hope all of you are doing great. If you could do me a big old favor, drop a like on this video. It will help me out a ton. And definitely is something that if you guys want to come back and watch the creation of the Con Man universe, you can do that in the future. Uh, okay, so after the jackets, there's just the hand. It's his right hand. Uh, get rid of that. And this is the Bray Wyatt glove. I don't know if this will be in the game. Um, it is. Good. They still got the Bray Wyatt glove. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So that is all white. Yep. Yep. And that's right. There we go. Man, already been live for over an hour. Dang, dudes. It's going to take a long time. <laughs> it's going to take a real long time. I don't think he had anything else. Nope. And then it's just his lower body now. Wrestling tights. Generic. You got a bit of a headache? Oh, damn, dude. That sucks. That sucks, dude. Hopefully you heal up sooner rather than later. Headaches aren't fun. They're the worst, man. Like, legit. They hit you and you're just like, ow, my headaches. That's why it's called a headache. I think it's these ones here. Yep. We've officially hit the hour mark. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who has been made so far? Ahmed, Aled Thomas, and Amidi. Those are the only three that I've got made so far, and we're working on Anthony Daniel. So now I need the boots and shoes. Okay. This one is going to be what? Little tie ups on the side. These ones right here. Second color's the purple. Beautiful. That's not right. Third color's the purple. There we go. Boom. There you have it, my friends. This is Anthony Daniel. Oh, hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. <laughs> Look at this man. The leader of the vision. The vision. The vision. The vision. The vision. So let's copy this on over, copy attire. And yes, that is going to be his wrestling attire. I don't care what you say. The dude's rocking a hat while he wrestles now. <laughs> Back up there. Let's get to the personal information. Anthony Daniel, I believe, is a heel, but he's in the mix. He's not like full-blown heel. He is a heel, though. However, he is egotistical, hella egotistical. He is disrespectful. He is perseverant. He is treacherous. He is bold. And he is also disciplined, though. He's a disciplined man. 
And where do we have him hailing from, I wonder? Um, personal information, Bogota, Colombia. Bogota, Colombia. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. And let's go to performance. We don't need that. I mean, statistics. There we go. And get his attributes pulled up. So he's got arm power out the wazoo. 85. Man, the dude can move, apparently. Aerial offense, 80 or 79. Is that right? 78. Dang. Aerial range is a 71. Power submission is a 77. Technical submission is a 74. Strike reversal, 79, I believe. Yep, 79. Then 74. Aerial reversal, 68. He's not great at those, apparently. Uh, leg durability, body durability, all that stuff. So, body durability is a 73. Arm durability is a 79. He's got strong arms. Con, do you think you overrated them in 2K19 as you look at them now? No, man. No, it makes every single WWE, CMU, two, whatever I'm trying to say, it's late. It makes every CMU match feel really good, in my opinion, if you rate them all relatively high. At any given point, somebody can win. Um, so that's what I tried to do with the ratings. This is an 80, so it's maxed out. Technical submission defense is an 82. Pin escape is 79. We got how much strength? We got 72. All right, cool. Stamina at a 75. Stamina recovery. Agility. That's a quick one. What's this agility? 73. Movement speed is an 80. Recovery. Let's get that up to a 74. Special and finisher. There we go, my friends. Your apparently a cult leader. <laughs> Your cult leader. Anthony Daniel. Beautiful. Anthony has been created, my friends. So that is officially three wrestlers that we've created on the show here tonight. Macho says, Con, you really loved Anthony Daniel. No. Guys, you're going to learn very quickly that all superstars in the CMU are usually between the 88 and 94 range. Like, Almost every single one. I'm pretty sure I got... I'm pretty sure I had certain superstars ranked at like a 98 in the last one as well. Like, I just put on the best possible stuff that I could. And you guys are going to see very quickly that the 92s, the 91s, all of that, they're for most people. For most people. All right. So there we go back out of this one now it's time to start a new one new custom star new custom star let's go male and up next is oh jamie todd now i see the copyright thing you're talking about Oh, I really, truly hope that doesn't get picked up. That would suck if that gets picked up. We'll learn very quickly, won't we? <laughs> yeah, that, that is kind of a crap spot for that location, isn't it? So Antonio Coleman is up next. Now, we know Antonio Coleman is definitely a striker. Ashton says, I don't know when I'm up. It's going to be a bit, dude. I don't even know if we're going to get around to you here today. Um, we'll see how much longer we have in the show after we do this. But uh, let's say he is a heavyweight. 
Yes. All right, Antonio Coleman. Are there any female superstars? There are. I just thought about this. I can actually type. Oh, wait, will it not let me? Ah, uh, never mind. Antonio Coleman. There we go. Is Antonio a name? Anthony. Antonio! Hey! There we go. I'm not sure if Coleman's actually a name either. Find out right here. Cole. Oh my goodness, it totally is! Oh shoot, I made that his first name, number two. <laughs> Whoops. Delete that last name. Here we go. Let's get Coleman again. Coleman. There we go. So yeah, we'll see how long this character takes to create. If it doesn't take too long, Ashton is up next. If it doesn't take too long. So let's go here. Let's start with the face face template. Uh, face template, cool. And we are going to go, it's the second one, but that doesn't look right. It's this one here. Uh, yes, is that it? I think so, yeah. Hey, Patriots Nation, how you doing, bro? Good to see you. Welcome to the stream. So I take it we're most likely not getting to me tonight. No, dude. No. Um, that would be one, two. Yeah, one, two, three. I guess it's four away. Technically, we could potentially, but I don't think we're going to have enough time, my man. Honestly, I'm, I'm thinking that we are going to be live tomorrow throughout the day. I, I think we're going to jump back live with this and get going with creating some more superstars tomorrow. So we'll probably be back tomorrow, everybody. Probably. Don't want to guarantee anything, but we might be back tomorrow with uh, more of this. So let's get the body here. So body customize. He was a type 5 and type 8. All right. So he looked a little something like, yep, Casey Rose says, am I going to be back on the CMU? Yep, you will. Um, none of these body types scream Antonio Coleman. That one does. That one does. There we go. Let's go. I'm doing good. My saved data for WWE got swiped, so I had to recreate everything. If that ends up happening here, guys, I'm going to be so upset. But uh, my game plan is for us to upload everything to the, um, the servers. That way, if we end up losing our save files, then I'll be able to get them back. Hopefully, that won't happen, though. I truly hope that won't happen. So that's the body type. Let's get his height set up. So he is standing at 6'3". Man, 294 pounds. Damn. That's not him. That's not him. He's totally a medium body. 
264. Two forty six. That's pretty good. That that looks like Antonio Coleman. There we go. What's it like in the new place? What are the chances of a flood? I mean, I guess you never know until it happens, right? But so far, everything seems good, man. Everything seems good. How do you edit the height and weight? So when you go into body, if you take a look at the bottom of the screen, it says press square for height. So I tap square on the controller. And then if you adjust the height, it changes the body weight correspondingly to the body that you've chosen. So certain bodies are heavier. Certain bodies are lighter. And that's that. So that's how you do it. You press square. Or I'm not sure what the button is if you're playing on PC. I mean, I'm on PC as well, but I got my controller plugged in, right? So a tire, I guess, is next. Is that right? Yep, a tire is next. Let's edit this thing. All right. Show appearance, hair and facial body parts. He's got that split hair. This is one of the cooler characters that I've created. Seriously. In terms of just their look. Is this the new, it's not the split hair. Tell me we still got the split hair here in WWE 2K22. Come on. Tell me we've got the split hair. No way. Did they take the split hair out? Oh, shoot. What? Hold up. It's under all the craziness of these hairstyles. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, this isn't good, man. His iconic look could be done. Uh-oh. There's an updated version of the rose thorn. You can use Bailey's rose plant. By the way, good to see you again, Con. Thank you, Casey Rose. Thank you for the $5 donation. I will definitely look into that. We'll see if we can uh, update your move, my friend. It's got to be this one. It's got to be this one. Color... No, it's only one color. Shoot. Oh, that's not good, man. That's so not good. I do have an idea, though. I do have an idea for what I can do. So let's do that. And let's go hair dye. Dye. Color select. It's got to be black. All right. It's going to take a bit, but... That's what we got to do. Dye all this hair black. Oh, man. Oh, this is not going to take long at all, is it? <laughs> oh, hang on. Oh, I can bump this up. Let's go. Let's go. That's so much better. Okay, cool. That's better. There we go. Yeah, man.
That's neat. That looks good. Let's get this down the back here as well. Boom. Get those spray painted. Spray painted. <laughs> get those painted. I mean, it is like spray painting. does really feel like I'm spray painting his hair. And then up right there. Oh, yeah. Woo! Love that. That looks good. I want this to be spray painted. There we go. Not bad, eh? Not bad. Not bad for Anthony. Or Antonio, I should say, not Anthony. Then we need to do this right here. Get rid of these things. Legit, though, guys, would you like to see me back tomorrow? Would you like to see me back tomorrow? So this one is all white. So this is going to look creepy. All white. And we go with the black right there. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. I'm off school tomorrow. Yes, yes. All right, guys. So let me tell you right here, right now, we will be back tomorrow creating some more stars, all right? Creating some more people for our custom universe mode. And now let's copy that over. Would it be in the afternoon? Most likely. Most likely. Not too late, though. I've got a haircut tomorrow. There we go. There's the black eye of Antonio Coleman. We need... We need the goatee. How long has this taken me? Well, we've been live for an hour and 24 minutes so far. So you can see, it's uh, it's taken us a little bit of time already. And then we need a face paint. Um, appearance. Is there a face paint up in here? Eye makeup. Uh, eyebrows. Face paint. There we go. Face paint. I need this one, I think it is. No, it's not. Which one was it? It was this one. No, still not that one. Which one was it? Hey, Casey Rose, welcome to Team Green here. Good to have you. Thank you so much for your support on the channel, my friend. Which um, face paint did I choose? I, I don't see the one that I had before. Oh, it's right here. There we go. I was like, what the friggity heck? Right? Is this? No, that's still not it. Yo, what happened? Did they remove the face paint that I like to use? They totally did. All right, so we got to give him a little bit of different face paint then. Um, might be this one. Let's see what this looks like with all black. What do you guys think? Could that still work for Anthony Daniel or Antonio Coleman? Then we also need to change the uh, the eyebrows. I 
I think that could still work for Antonio Coleman, right? Like that that still looks pretty damn good, right guys? Like that's still the dark man. Like that's not far off what we had, right? That's not what we had. But it's not far off. I like it. All right, so that's the start. Then let's go. We don't have do we have tattoos on Coleman? We do upper body on his right shoulder. Body tattoo, movable scars, right arm then I guess. Whoa, that's different. That's different. Honestly? I like that as well. Let's let's just make that all black. Yo, I like that for Coleman. I like that for Coleman. That looks so sick. Yo, that looks sick. Jonathan Farthing, welcome to Team Green, bro. Welcome to Team Green. Great to have you. You said his skin was very pale. Um, I don't know about that, dude. I don't know about that. I think it might have seemed pale. But that's the Anthony Antonio Coleman that I am working on right there. You can kind of see it's not hella pale. It's it's pretty close to what we got. Pretty close. Lower body's good. All right. Appearance has been taken care of. Clothing time. Clothing. All right. So we need nothing for his head, upper body, a couple of elbow pads. Let's find the pad that I used. Which one was it? It was... Is it this one? No, it's totally bigger. Wasn't generic. Uh, that's like a Goldberg style. Well, maybe it is. No, it's not. It's totally not that one. Which one is? So how many did I go down? I was down quite a bit. <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? Which one is it? Um... Oh, there it is. Oh, wait, shoot. No, it's not. Never mind, then. Not that one. Not these ones. Did they remove it from the game? Please don't tell me you removed it. That elbow pad was sick. Dang, man. I do not see it anywhere. I mean, this one can work. This one could work, so if we want it, it's the orange one there. But just one more quick look through just to see if I can find it. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, yes. Yes. That's the one. 
Colors. This one goes all white. So color one is all white. Oh, it's only one color. Shoot, what the heck? No, that's not the right one. Dang it, man. Dang it. Trying again. <laughs> this one? No. Man, this is the closest one to it. Hmm. Macho Studio is asking me, when is my next Minecraft stream? I legit can't give you an answer on that one. I have no idea, man. I have no idea. Um, life has just been so damn busy over the last 30 days. You guys want to hear what we went through over the last 30 days? So, Becca got her wisdom teeth removed just over 30 days ago. So, literally like 32 days ago, she got her wisdom teeth removed. So, we were dealing with that. Then, very shortly after her wisdom teeth got removed, the basement flooded with sewage. So, then we were dealing with that. And then we had to move to my parents' house for a week and a half. This might be it. So we did that for a week and a half. Then we moved back into the house that still smells like sewage, by the way. Um, then we found this place, applied for this place, got this place, and then moved into this place. It has been a very, very, very busy last 30 days. Um, and also, during that time, we had WrestleMania. We had ConMania. Uh, we had, like, oh my god, it's been a busy 30 days. So it's just great to be able to sit back down and, and create some content. This might be it. No, it still isn't, man. I don't know. I just don't see the the same elbow pad that was here before, which makes it difficult because his look really relied on the elbow pads. All right, I guess he's just going to have to rock these ones then. So this one is white right there with a black trim and a black one of those. There you go. So that's that one. Then we copy this one. But his left side is reversed. So edit that. Boom. Color. So the first color is now black. And now the second color is white. And the third color is white. There we go. There's that one. This will be our final character that we create here today, by the way, my friends. This will be the final one. We will pick back up again tomorrow. So, look at that. That's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. All right. Not too far off what we had before. It's not identical, but it's not terrible. Then we go down to the hands. This is Antonio Coleman. So in his hands, he's got the whole world. Oh, that's why it looks a little different. Okay, hang on. Upper arm. Upper arm left. He's got the three. Oh, okay. So this one is white, black, white. And then the other side is the opposite of that. So copy this upper arm right. Yep, copy that. And edit, boom, boom, color. This goes black, white, black. There's 
that. Ashton says, I wish you could copy all the files from 2K19 to 2K22. Would make life so much easier. Yeah, it really would. But I understand why it can't happen. Then we need lower arm left. We need the wristband with the, uh, the short hanging stuff. Where is it? Where are you at, little dangly thing? Little dangler? Where's the little dangler? Okay, where does it look like? Edit, is it in the generic? Yes, it looks like it's in the generic. So that helps narrow it down. It's with all the wrist stuff. That helps. Oh, hang on. I just found it. There it is. Beautiful. All right, so this one is all white. Beauty, beauty, beauty. That's blue, not white. And that's good. Cool. Then we need this right here. Copy that one over, and this obviously is going to be black. Cool. Then we just need some gloves for him. Hands on the left. Just something generic that goes over his hand like that. Is that right? Uh... It's pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. I think it was more so like this. Uh... No, it's this one. There we have it. There we go. So that is nice and white. Beautiful. Then we've got, on the other hand, the black. And Austin James says, so are we basically copying their attires from 2K19 or making new ones? Depends. Uh, sometimes I will need to change up the attire, but for the most part, I'm trying to keep them similar. Very, very similar. As similar as I possibly can. Because people recognize the attires, right? People will be able to see like, oh, okay, that's Antonio Coleman. Or, oh, okay, that's uh, that's whatever, right? People will be able to pick up on that a little easier. Then we've got the lower body. That took a while. That one took a bit. We've got the trunks with the multicolors on them. Whose trunks are those? They are not generic. They are all. Uh, oh, okay. There's not a lot of trunks. Those are really short, like really short. Where's the longer trunks at? There they are. Beautiful. First color is going to be black. Second color going to be white. There he is. That's Antonio Coleman, baby. Then we got the knee pads. All right. Knee pad on the left. Just something simple. That's not what he has. I think he's got this one here. Yep, that's the one. This one be white. And 
then this one be black. Cool, now we just need the boots, which are sick looking. I don't know whose boots they are. I think they're Xavier Woods, to be perfectly honest. But let's go down here now. Uh, they were the gold attire. Might not be in the game anymore, though. It's entirely possible. So we might have to have a different boot design. Uh, not quite. They go up a little higher. Um, I mean, that's a possibility. The gold ones are definitely a possibility. These are sick. These are pretty sick. Yo! What does that say? T-bar or the bar? T-bar or the bar? Oh, it's Cesaro. Yeah, okay. Nope, that will not work. Um, we can do... What are these ones? Pack. What? Pack? Hold, hold up. What? Pack. What the frig? Are Pack's boots in this game? Like, from AEW Pack? Who the hell? Whose boots are these? Oh, X-Pack. <laughs> it's totally X-Pack. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it took me a minute. Hey, the boots are in the game. Let's go. Boots are in the game. That's what we like to see. All right. So we can make this. Is it white? Yes, white for the base. Second color is gray. I imagine third color is black. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Yo, chill out, my friends. It is 12.43 a.m. Chill out. Chill out, suckers. <laughs> well, I was like, it just doesn't make any sense that PAX stuff would be in this game. But there we go, my friends. That is... Antonio Coleman. Antonio Coleman. There he is, everybody. What do you think of the assassin? Because the assassin has been created. Thumbs up, thumbs down, fist emoji for Antonio Coleman. And now we need to adjust his intro, his entrance. He needs, what does he need? He needs a big old body thingy, outfits. Is that what it's called? Jackets? Jackets are what I'm after. Will 
it be in the game, though. It was broken Matt Hardy's jacket, so I don't know if it'll be in the game. But that doesn't mean we can't give him something different. Holy shoot. Wow. <laughs> That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. It's a little overkill. It's a little too much for him, but still. Um... He had Bray's jacket. Incorrect. He had broken Matt Hardy's jacket. Ho oh, ho! Whoa! <laughs> oh shit! That'd be badass. That would be badass. But I think we might rock this one. That's also cool. What about this? This one. Ooh! Oh, it's Apollo Cruises. Um, let me check something out. Let me check something out. This might work. If I make that black. And I make this black. And we go to material. Can I make this blend in a little better? Below. That's, that's pretty good for blending in. Oh, that's pretty sick. Yo, that's pretty sick. Not gonna lie, folks. That's pretty freaking sick. All right. The assassin. Antonio Coleman has been created. Now we go to personal information. After turning on Justin Beverly, the dude is definitely hated. Then we've got, he's full of his ego. He's disrespectful as heck. He is definitely on the desperate side of things. He's treacherous, no doubt about it. He is bold AF and he's aggressive. Uh, okay. So let's get our... What else do we need? We need the attributes here. Okay. And where's his hometown? He can be from... Uh, he can... Where's a scary place? Where's a scary sounding place? Uh, Wyoming sounds scary. Recluse, I don't know if that's scary or not, but we'll make him from there. <laughs> Recluse, Wyoming. All right, so now time for the attributes. He's got a 78 power here. Leg power is off the charts at 90. Grapple offense at 79. Running offense at 79 as well. Aerial 72. Aerial range 71. Goal submission offense 83. So he's all the way up there. Strike reversal. Strike reversal of 76. Grapple reversal of 74. Oh, no, he's actually an 80 strike reversal and a 76 here. And then a 74 right here. Body durability, 76. 
Arm durability, 78. Leg durability, 90. Yo, those legs be strong AF. Pin escape is 84. Stamina, 77. Strength is 85. Stamina, 77. Cool. Stamina recovery. That's not a thing. Agility was a 79. Cool. Stuff. Movement speed, 90. So we can't actually get it to 90. Recovery was a 75. And those stay at 70. For your 92 overall superstar right there. Right there. Boom. Look at Antonio Coleman. That looks like a man ready to go. Ready to be back in the CMU. I expect big things from him. Mason Undiano. How you doing, buddy? Good to see you back in the chat, my friend. You having yourself a wonderful night? I sure hope so. All right. So Antonio Coleman has been created. So we got a total of one, two, three, four. <laughs> four stars created. That's it. <laughs> I got Ahmed created earlier in the day as well. Five total stars. Five. 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 <laughs> oh my goodness. Unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. Um, so that took an hour and 53 minutes. Wowzers. So you guys can see that this is going to take a while. Right, You can see certain stars take more time and effort than others, but at the end of the day, it's going to be all worth it. We will continue to stream the creation process of the CMU tomorrow, my friends. But until then, take care. Have yourself a wonderful rest of your night. Rest up, my friends, and I'll see you tomorrow. Love you, each and every one of you. Take care, and thank you for watching the show. Good night, everybody, and we'll see you tomorrow.